happened again. Got rid of the images pretty quickly, but my skin hurt the rest of the morning. I gave up trying to go back to sleep. Dina stayed up with me. When would this stop? I don't know how Dina talks so easily about Jesse. She tells JJ about him. She thinks it'd be good for me to talk about Joel, to get it out. When she says that, it makes the memories sound like food poisoning. I don't want to talk about it. It's just going to hurt. And I think once I start, I wouldn't be able to stop. Took JJ on a ride today. He laughed the whole time. I almost didn't think about Seattle all day. It was nice. Jesse's parents came out today. It was nice at first. They're good people. But then they started pushing for us to move back to Jackson. I couldn't handle it and left for the woods. I didn't come back until late at night. Dina stayed up for me. I could tell she was mad, but she grabbed my hand and led to me and led me to bed. I felt so guilty. It happened again. I was hunting this boar, and I'd cornered it in this old gas station. It was bleeding out, screaming. It sounded like him. Then I couldn't get the images out of my head. I left it there, dying. My skin hurts. When does it get quiet? Time was supposed to suffocate the urge, suffocate the desire, extinguish, extinguish the desire. Haunted by your smiles, the mask keeps getting heavier. One step forward, two steps back. There's a noose around my neck, and the further I get, it's harder to breathe and cope. Can I find a way to cut the cord? I've been waiting for dawn, but the light is all gone. I don't know if I'm already blind. Can I leave it all behind? So, yeah, I mean, obviously this whole side of it makes complete sense. This is the side of the story that, yeah, okay, I mean, you know, you you can't just, you, she can't just forget about Joel. And again, I think so much of it is to do with the way he died. Like, if you look at the flashback that she got, let's say Ellie wasn't in the room when it happened and she only got, she was only told what happened, then it would have been, it might not have been this bad, but the fact that she had to be there and witness it all happen, I think that's what makes it so much worse. She keeps talking about the images, like literally the image. Imagine, just try to even imagine for a second having someone that you love and truly care for going through what, what Joel did, whether they deserved it or not. Like literally having to look them in the, in the eyes while it happens, like that's fucked up. That's seriously fucked up. So that whole side of it I get, but using Tommy like that, just to, to shit on his, you know, quote-unquote legacy or like role in the story or anything. Tommy's one of my favorite characters, I love him, but in this story, like ever since we got to, to the halfway point of the, um, of the story, like they've really just taken Tommy off a cliff for some reason. Like the, the scene after Joel's death and, and all that kind of stuff, like I was like, okay, you know. At one point I thought Ellie and Tommy were going to team up and we're going to have a playable section with them two together trying to hunt down Abby, but no, it's like to Tommy just turned into a totally selfish, like manipulative asshole now. Who cares more about his own whatever than, than Ellie's feelings or what Joel probably would have wanted for, for Ellie. And for this whole thing. Some weird writing this game it really is. Now, here we go. This is going to be the final the, the final trigger. Play the Joel song. And off we go. I hate 
these things. Tell me about it. Your old man really laid into me today. What happened? Another big lecture about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, she's putting on quite the show. I give you guys two weeks until you're back together. Not gonna happen. She, uh, say something to you? <laughs> Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Well, I'm here, aren't I? Dina? Jesse? Hey, don't forget, we're heading out early, so get some rest. Yes, sir. You're such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage. Oh. Okay. Oh, how about that? Gross. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Maybe they're staring at you. Maybe they're jealous of you. I'm just a girl, not a threat. Family event. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Remember next time there's kids around. Yeah, like you're setting such a great example. Oh, just what this town needs. Another loudmouth dyke. The fuck did you just say? Ellie, hey. Ellie, don't. Get the hell out of here. Get your hands off me. Hey! Enough. For a walk. What about them? You worry about yourself. Let's get you some fresh air. You all right, kiddo? What is wrong with you? He had no right. And you do? I don't need your fucking help, Joel. Right. Oh, it's like that's the is that the last thing she ever said to him? That's so horrible, man. Poor Joel. But she's got the jacket on. I think that's also part of the guilt she feels. Hey. since he slept this long, huh? He had a day. Yeah. He's fine. Go back to bed. We'll talk about it in the morning, okay? I have to finish it. You don't owe Tommy anything. I don't sleep. I don't eat. I'm... I'm not like you, Dina. What? 
You think this is easy? For you and for him, I deal with it. I love you. Prove it. Stay. I can't. So what? I'm just supposed to, to sit here and wait for you? For God knows how long, just thinking you're fucking dead the entire time? I don't plan on dying. Yeah, well, neither did Jesse. Or Joel. Hey, stop. Hey. Hey. Come on. We've got a family. She doesn't get to be more important than that. No. I'm not going to do this again. That's up to you. <laughs> Man, I got goosebumps. That was hard to watch. straight a week ago. I can't believe he traded a pistol for this. It's a lead. No way that guy saw fireflies over here. Stop. I feel good about this. Well, I don't. Come on. All right, here we are. The game goes on. Oh, man. That was a hell of a scene with Ellie and Dina. I'm so annoyed that it had to turn out like that. I really am. It's not going to be on that side. It's all evens. We still seem to... Oh, okay. She's got a revolver this time, so things are slightly different. I, I do wish the story ended when she was on the tractor with, um, with yeah. JJ. Because these guys were on their way to Santa Barbara. Just let them, let them go, man. If that's what you want to preach, just let them go. That's your message. Just a sec. It's got to go, for me, it's got to go one of two ways. Either either you've got to let them both go and they both decide to, to not pursue their revenge as Abby eventually let Ellie go. And Ellie let Abby go. If the Fireflies are still out there. Yeah. What do you think they're up to? I don't know. The goal was always to restore society. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to go about it. Seems like a strange place to find a resistance group. We had all sorts of outposts. Big and small. Best way to hide from the army. Okay. Let's wear graffiti. Does that mean fireflies? Mm -hmm. No. Nothing I recognize, at least. It means that there's probably another bunch of murderous, crazy motherfuckers in, in charge here. Because that's all we pretty much see. <laughs> 24 17. Getting warmer. Oh, I hope not. I'm sweating already. You're such a goober. What? Nothing. But again, this environment is really cool. Getting to play somewhere like this is also nice. It's a shame it came like 30 hours into the, into the game, but this is cool. Hey, something's out there. Oh, fuck. We don't have anything silent here, so we've got to be careful. Wow, 
Wait, what is that hand doing? Look at that. Look at that hand. <laughs> that's a bit wrong. Holy shit. So that's, I think, the three visual slash technical things that I've spotted so far in the playthrough. There you go. It's fixed now. Can Lev take the other one out? I don't think so. I thought maybe Lev was going to get the other one. But they're very bloodied. I think they've recently been feasting. Because I'm on moderate difficulty, I think they haven't seen me yet. But. Okay, Lev. Is that really a good idea? Right, here we go. This isn't the house, but is it worth going in? I guess so. Whoa. Oh, okay. Alright. Good job. Where? Okay. So we're going to have to see how all this plays out. I mean, right now, if you ask me how do you think the story's going to go, I'd probably say it feels like... Uh, Abby and Lev are going to get extremely close to being able to find Santa Barbara, as in the, um, the Fireflies. And be confronted with Ellie. And then Ellie's probably going to kill Abby. So then she kind of would have killed Abby, but she would have lost everything as a result of it. And obviously we'd feel worse um, about it now, because obviously we played through so much as Abby, and we've got Lev as well. Lev probably won't die, but I don't know. Speaking of dying, shiv required. Yeah. Watch out! That's fine. They literally they turned around like literally like right here in order to be able to echo locate me. Good. I thought they were going to completely turn back. I knew something was out there. Yes, you did. Keep your guard up. Let's go back to finding that house. 2425. Out of Uh. Wait, I can craft some shears. So I should probably do that. Yeah, so I've retained my pills and stuff. What if we don't find them here? Assuming all the leads dry up, what would you like to do? I don't know. Leave this place? I feel like California is probably a nice place to be, man. That's not it. That's 2426. I know. Good eyes. I'm just exploring, man. I think 2429, it should be this one, right? Twenty-four twenty-nine. <laughs> I don't see any numbers. Maybe yeah. that's a good thing. But twenty-four twenty-six is across the street. Yeah, that would be. Twenty-four twenty-nine is. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I feel like if there is a The Last of Us 3, that's when it's going to go back to like the infected and like humanity and societal survival and trying to find a cure for the infected and all that stuff. I feel like maybe they're setting up the Fireflies again as a narrative factor for that reason. Like Maybe they've already sort of mapped ahead for the future of the franchise. Cause this place looks abandoned, like all the other houses. I feel like since Nate's story has supposedly we reached the end of it in Uncharted 4, I feel like there's a bit of a gap for Naughty Dog, and The Last of Us is probably something they can they can milk a bit. So I wouldn't be surprised because this game is going to sell like mad, like that's guaranteed. It's literally been seven years. 
I think the spoilers would have deterred some small proportion, but not, I think, anything legit. Hmm. Not enough to damage them, anyway. 24, 25 Constance. Hmm. This is the place. Okay. Okay, but there's nothing here. We don't know that yet. There's got to be something. They wouldn't have brought us here for nothing. They painted the indoors to look like the outdoors, but plants don't look like that. It's more like a a child's dream version of the outdoors. In the old world, it'd be common for them to decorate kids' rooms like this. My dad painted a, a colorful jungle for me. No. Oh. Yara would have loved that. Oh yeah, Yara. I bet she would have. Some nice houses, man. Everyone's got their own nice little swimming pool and shit. The weather's always good. What about... Clickers! Wait, hold on. Before I do that... Uh, I can't actually pull back now. I have to open it. Damn. I was going to say, it might be one of them situations where they lock some infected in here, but... Thankfully not. So what's the DDO? Remember the last time we were in a pool? Yeah, I have a small recollection of it. If it makes you feel better, I also thought we were gonna die. Nope. Okay. So what are we doing? Wasn't this the the address? I think I've checked everything. Or not. Uh, Maybe there's another way in. Are you being positive? <laughs> I'm trying to be helpful. You're always helpful. He's, he's stuck here, staring at something. Is there like a secret? Okay. I wouldn't go into that room that I couldn't before. This is the one. Okay. Not a. Is it really nothing? It can't be. I mean, it seems like there were a fair few fireflies when they were around. They could have scattered around enough. Okay. Love, I think we're Show's done. Here. Show's over. No, wait. Oh, well, now. Okay. You find something? Scratches. <laughs> Scooch. There's still no one here, so... Hello? Clearly not. I mean... Whatever there was... Is no more. It's been a while since anyone's been here. Maybe a note? Unfortunately, I have to agree with you. Surely there's got to be a note here. From the people that used to live here. There weren't that many of them, but there was a little group, I guess. Pretty nice barracks, all things considered. Yeah, they had a little... They were here for a while. That's the shower, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, we've got some electricity here, right? Ooh. Still working. Because they've got solar. <laughs> 
Oh. Well, when in California, I guess. Okay, here we go. Is this frequency currently in use? This is... Do you see a call sign anywhere? Oh, a what? It's a short list of numbers and letters. Hmm. Okay. This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? Standing by. Is anyone out there? What's this? Are frequencies. Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Is anyone out there? Are these other Firefly outposts? I don't know. Can anyone hear me? Hello? Is this frequency currently in use? This is Abby from Santa Barbara. Hello. Hello. Is this frequency currently in use? Hello, this is Abby from Santa Barbara. Can anyone hear me? If anyone can hear me, please reply. Please answer. Hi, Abby. We got a clear signal on you. Where in Santa Barbara are you calling from? Um, 24, 25 Constance. Uh, we got a tip about a base, but there's no one here. We're looking for fireflies. I'm a, I'm a firefly. Where were you stationed? I was part of the Salt Lake outpost. Who ran that facility? Dr. Jerry Anderson. He was my dad. Well, how about that? We pulled everyone back from the satellite stations and brought them back here to home base. How many of you are there? More about. 200 strong now, with a few more every month. Oh, no, that's right. You're about to get two more. How do we find you? Get to Catalina Island. Approach the large domed building in Avalon. We'll find you. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. Over and out. Looking forward to it. Good luck, Abby from Santa Barbara. Over and out. Come on, let's get back to the sailboat. Wow. Damn, son. The last of us three launching. <laughs>